everyone, and welcome to another edition of Imagination Hat. This is Jude Valentine, coordinator of studio and public programs here at the Farnsworth Art Museum in Rockland, Maine. And today I'd like to share with you a piece from our collection by Louise Nevelson, and then work with you on a, a printmaking activity that is inspired by the work that she did. So I'm gonna share my screen and show you this piece by Louise Nevelson, and then read a little bit about it from the book, Maine and American Art, published by the Farnsworth and a catalog of its collection last year in 2020. So this is a little bit about this piece. It was uh, created in 1980 and it's called Full Moon 1980. It's polyester resin cast. It's 18 and a half inches by 18 and a half inches by two inches. And um, though small in scale, this work exhibits the same sensitivity toward form and composition found in Nevelson's larger sculptures. For her, the circle within a square was a mystical configuration suggesting a meeting of the sun and moon or the mind and heart. So I thought we would just riff a little bit uh, along the themes of circle and square, and also look at these elements within this moon shape, uh, which are very visually interesting. There's a lot of movement, a geometric movement a along and within this circle that I thought we could be inspired by. So I'm looking at here, these heavy multiple repetition lines, uh, the thin lines, the thick lines. And this looks like wood. And I imagine what she did was created it out of wood first and then took a, uh, a mold of it and cast it in polyester resin. So it would have some of the texture of the wood that also is really subtle in this piece. It's not all flat. There's a lot of movement uh, from surface to deeper within the areas of the piece that create a lot of dimension. So it's very dynamic for a small piece. Um, and Louise Nelson just was a master of this kind of visual play, the playing of uh, the depth and the and uh, form. So um, let's go over to the desktop and we'll take a look at uh, how we can play with this idea uh, with our with our uh, with a printmaking project. So here we are over at our desktop and I've got some found objects for you to uh, check out. So we've got a flower pot, a can, a roll, an empty roll of tape, a bottle. So I'm looking at some roundish, roundish forms. We have um, a circle from a bowl. I have some square blocks of wood that are also uh, engravers blocks. And what else? And you can use a stamp pad, but I chose to use a sponge with some ink on it. And um, of course, you might need to also have a, a handy rag of some kind so you can kind of wipe your fingers off. So I started, let me clear off my desk here. started with, um, with kind of practicing some, some shapes. So this is a circle that was drawn with the bowl. And, uh, and inside of that circle, I made an impression with my flower pot. And then inside of that, I used a, I used a rubber gasket, which I didn't really find very successful. So I'm not going to I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna pursue that. I've also done, uh, let's see, on the other side of this, I made some marks. So what I, what I didn't show you, what I have here are, are some cut pieces of cardboard. 
which are which are going to be used to kind of create some linear marks. So here's Here's also a paper bag that I'm going to put underneath underneath the print page so that we can we can have something a little softer to press on. And you can also use a towel, just something that will give a little bit on the paper so that your your imprint will be um, will be a little firmer. Okay. So I've also cut some shapes of cardboard from and also some thin thin shapes that I've cut from an old tea box. So there's quite a bit that you can do with just stuff that's in your junk in your junk pile, kind of going your recycle, your recycle pile. And uh, I'm going to make a longer shape here. I'm just cutting this out. A longer cardboard shape so we can, we can really start to play with some shapes. Okay. So, so I did some practicing, which I showed you already. Um, which kind of look like this. These lines down here are all created with uh, cardboard and uh, kind of dipped in the ink. And then kind of stamped together. Um, but what we can also do is we can use a larger piece of cardboard. And uh, so I've got this, I've got this square already prepared. And um, I'm going to put a circle inside of it, just like Louise did. And I'm going to use a pen to just give me a sense of where everything is. There we go. And then inside of that circle, I'm going to start making some shapes. And you can you can you can look at Louise Nevelson's piece and kind of be inspired by that. She used a lot of right angles. Um, you can just start printing and see, you know, what you make, what you make using thin and thick lines. So maybe I'll start like that. I'm just gonna, and it's what I like about the sponge instead of the stamp pad is that you can really get some ink on the edge of your cardboard. All right. So I'm going to just start with a right angle like that. And then maybe I'll turn that right angle around and uh, try a different shape over here like that. Now when you push down, push down straight and firm. So you don't want to go askew. You don't want to wiggle too much. Ooh, that's starting to look like something. All right, and then let's try, let's try going up here. Like that, okay. All right, and then um, what if we try, I'm gonna cut this one off. What if we try filling things in with a little, with little squares? Well, the other thing, once we're done, and I'm just going to do some repeat lines here. We can also go back in and play a little bit with, with filling things in. We can also try, like I've got this very flexible cardboard, uh, kind of co half corrugated sheeting which sometimes comes wrapped around things. And um, what I think I'll do is I'll wrap it around this bottle, half like a half circle. And I'm just gonna press to keep, to keep the shape. I'm just gonna press the cardboard in that, but keep my hand up around the bottle and then see what, what kind of lines there we go. I'm just kind of making some cool, 
some cool lines there. Maybe I'll turn it around now and go the other way. So you guys get the idea. This is just, we're kind of playing around here with how we might design a shape inside a circle, inside a square. We can think about it as almost like the surface of the moon. You know, what's on the surface of the moon? Or, you know, in our day, Mars. You can think about what's on the surface of Mars, right? We just got some great uh, footage back from the surface of Mars. All right. All right. So I'm just I'm kind of connecting things here. Maybe I can go over that and make it a little darker. Like that darker, yeah. Maybe come over here. Make this one darker. Now it's starting to fall apart a little bit, which is okay. Things fall apart, and then you can bring them back together, right? So maybe there's too much of a heavy, heavy line. Now there's two ways to go. You can you can try to lighten it or you can make it heavier so or alter it in some way so i'm wondering if i add some shapes into that area where that line is so heavy that maybe i can change the whole dynamic of this composition and maybe do it down here and the idea is to stay inside the circle right so this is already starting to look a little different and then taking my other smaller right angle. I'm going to load that up with ink and then maybe come in here. Maybe come down here. Maybe come here down here by the side and add some lines. Let me see what's happening. It's getting flattened out. Uh, that's all right. We can work with that. There, I'm starting to see some action here. Okay. So I'm enclosing shapes and I'm adding to shapes and I'm building on shapes. I'm going to make this a little thin line up here. And maybe a little, little thin line over this way. And if things get, you know, like really roughed up, you can always use another piece of cardboard. <laughs> That's what I like about this project. It's very, um, it's it's totally okay. You know, you can use up your piece of cardboard. Cardboard. All right, I'm just gonna make that a little thicker, a little heavier. All right. We can also, if we wanted to, go around the edge with our cardboard, which might not be a bad idea. So this is starting to build some interest in this area down here. And I might counter that with maybe putting a thinner, a thin line up in this area. Maybe up here. Now, if you had another color, you could work up another color, another sponge on another plate and play with two colors. I was just playing with black because it's what I had handy and just to kind of honor Louise's aesthetic. All right, so what else do I have for materials? I have um a bottle cap somewhere which might be fun to play with there it is it's a very thin edge i think we can go in and kind of there put something inside of something else or fill up the space
So Liz was really good at leaving things open and packing things in, in, in smaller areas. And I think what we might do now is just leave this open and maybe go around the edge a bit. And I think I could do that by using this corrugated piece and just kind of curving it. So if I go back to my sponge and then just curve it a little bit around There we go. That might be too heavy, but I'm just going to keep going and see what happens. There we go. And I've got a bend in my cardboard, but I'm going to work with it. I'm going to work with it. And if it's easier, you can turn it around too. That might be easier. That's a little rough. All right. But the other thing you could do too is because it's not an exact science, we can take a little bit of ink on our brush and we can also kind of flake things in here. So if we go outside the line a little bit. Round them off. Sometimes a little more. We're still, we're still, we're close to our edge, right? Close to our edge. And we can actually also go right outside to the edge. We'll go right outside and find our. Here's my full moon composition, inspired by Louise Nelson. Now, if that's, you know, if it's too wonky, you might just throw this out there. If you don't like all that unevenness, what we can do too is grab a piece of chalk. Right. I do have a right here. And you can you can come in and kind of clean it up a little bit. All right. So maybe this is a little too not so thin. Maybe I'd like it to be a little thinner. And maybe that should be maybe that should be a little thinner there. And maybe down here too. So that's better. And you can even come inside here and play with some edges or clean up some pieces that you might not like. Right? So it might be fun to just put something really, really seriously dark in here. If I double up on my okay. All right, so I'll leave you guys with that. Full moon, inspired by Louise Nevelson. So have some fun, play around with the shapes you can find in the house, and um, Send them to us here at the Farnsworth. We'd love to see what you're up to. So that's it for today's episode of Imagination Hat. Take care and bye for now.